Hi, and welcome to the Shotokan Chronicles. In today's video, we'll be returning to Master Nakayama's legacy, this time watching Heian Godan. But first, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Here at the Shotokan Chronicles, we're proud to announce that we have, uh, we have partnered with The Great North Apparel. You can go to thegreatnorth.net and check out some of their products. This is one of their um, deluxe shirts. It is a cotton spandex blend for active wear. And during checkout, use the coupon code SHOTOKAN to receive 30% off. And if you look, there'll be a video of uh, me unboxing this shirt and what surprises come with the uh, with your purchases. We're continuing on with Nakayama's legacy, moving on to the last of the Heian Kata, Heian Godan. When I was um, starting out in Shotokan, this was the kata that I wanted to do the most at the beginning. I could not wait to get to this level. This kata has a jump in it, as well as some other very interesting combinations. Being one of the more uh, interesting of the Heian katas, in my opinion, this is one of the more popular ones that people like to do, but it's also one of the more difficult. Hand and foot movement need to be done at a certain specific uh, timing for the techniques to work. And there has been a video that I've made earlier of myself doing the kata and going through a few of the pointers. Some of them I'll go over today as well. Without any further ado, Heian Godan. Heian Godan is composed of the following waza. Kamae of Mizunagare, Ryosho Juji Jodan, Ryosho Chudan, Osae Uke, Sokumen Harai of Kibadachi, Sokumen Chudan Kakeuke, Mikazuki Geri, crossing with jump and so on. Heian Godan. So here it's crucial that the timing of coming up and the foot movement is done hey. together. Also, another thing you'll notice when you're in that back stance, whenever you're in a back stance, make sure your elbow's not out like this. The elbow should be tight, tucked in. The key eyes in this kata are on the combination here at the last punch and at the apex of the jump. Personally, I key eye from the leap to the end. The hook punch here should not be up high. It should only be about chest level. To get it perfect, make a oizuki chudan and then keep your elbow where it is and just bend your arm. That makes the perfect position. It shouldn't be tight to the body. There should be a space between you and your arm. Let's watch each movement respectively. In the third and sixth movements, you must move your hands and feet in accordance with the rotational motion of the hips. And it's crucial here to get your hip around so that you're straight when you're punching to the side. You don't want to be trying to punch past your body. You still want to get your body twisted around enough so that you're punching. Six, eight, two, zero, eight, nine, eight. When moving from Gedan Juji Uke to Jodan Juji Uke, Pull your arms up before your breast while crossing your wrists. Then catch the opponent's fist by pushing it up. This sequence is not a block and a punch. These are two punches. So many people confuse that thinking that this is a downward block and then a punch. It's punch, punch. In the 13th movement, it's important to push your elbows and knees up simultaneously. 
After landing in the 19th movement, stand crossing your feet with your weight on the right foot, similar to Heian Yondan. The jump is not for distance, it's up and down. So many people jump for distance and then are wobbly on the landing. In the 21st movement, turn the hips left and look behind. Then strike your right hand towards your left knee. Quickly transfer your weight onto the right foot and making your fist pull your right hand up as the left hand comes down, as if stretching a piece of rubber. The basis of this form is frequently and used there, in MP. He didn't switch from here Let's have to position this, the same on the other side. Instead, after he finished, he transitioned and moved his hands into a striking position. An older version, after you stand up, you just alter to the other side and begin, but you shouldn't be doing that. You should be finishing, and then as you go, you're just bringing your hands over, and this one comes up to set up for the strike. <laughs> You'll see it there again. Instructor Nakayama will explain the essential points. After Jodan Juji Uke, strike down the opponent's fist which is thrusting towards the pit of your stomach. Then redirect the right fist to the side with Ski Uke. After Kake Uke, Kick Mikazuki Geri and immediately get through with your elbow to the opponent's body. In Mikazuki Geri, it is important to lift your knee high without changing the height of your hips. So Kakauki is a hooking block, so you're not coming up like this with a flat hand, you're coming up and over. The application here again is very effective. These first sequence of uh, techniques with the block, the punch, can be used as a throwing technique. To get a really good crescent kick, don't throw your leg forward. Keep your hip back and let it sink as you bring the foot up to slap your hand. I'll put a link to the video that I did that explains more of the kata and some advice on how I like to see the kata performed at the top of the screen. One of the things that you want to make sure you're doing when you do your Jodan uh, Jujuuki don't let your body rise up with it. Maintain that nice level of your stance. So you should have a uniform height throughout the kata unless you're physically standing up like in the first few sequences. We have probably one of the better of the first five kata in my opinion. This is the last of the Heian kata. The next kata that you would be performing would be Teki Shodan, which is the last kata before you become brown belt. And so this kata is very essential in that next step in moving forward to become more of an advanced student. Heon Godan has some very crucial techniques that you need to learn. It also is the first time that you're going to be leaving your feet. So you have to understand how to use all of the, the ways to generate power.
hip rotation, hip vibration, uh, up and down movement, pendulum, etc. That all has to be starting to get into your repertoire of techniques by this level. Keep working on your kata. Hopefully this will help you with your uh, training, whether you're just learning Heian Godan or whether you're a seasoned karateka and you're just coming back to review this kata. As always, train hard. See you next time right here on the Shotokan Chronicles. Thank <laughs> you.